Hi there! Today I am reviewing the Henry Bendel Uptown Out and About Organizing Wallet. That is a mouthful. So this is it. This has been on my wish list for probably about six months and I just couldn't pull the trigger. It does come in a number of colors but I really did want the black one and this is the black leather. This retails for $1.98. I thought that $1.98 was kind of a lot for this wallet and I had it in my cart, I took it out, and then the black was sold out around the holidays and it came back. I put it back in my cart, I took it out, I put it back in my cart again about two weeks ago and the next day I got an email that said that they were $100. So I went ahead and purchased it and it came and I'm glad that I got it. I'm really glad that I got it at $100. I do not think it's worth $198 by any means. So this is the black leather, like I said. I don't think this is leather. I think that this is plastic. I don't even think that this is like Safiano. I think that this is totally plastic. And it does feel a little cheap, which is a little bit disappointing, but the organization of the wallet I liked enough to keep it. This wallet right now does come in about 12 different colors. I think, and they all say that they're leather, but I'm assuming they're all probably more like this. I wish it was like a soft calf's leather or just something that felt a little bit nicer. But, like I said, there are things I like about it. So, the size is rather big, I get it, but when you see everything that's in there, you'll understand why. So, it has Henry Bendel, New York, embossed on the front in gold, and then it has this nice pocket right here on the outside. I like this. I've been shoving receipts and stuff in there so they're not crowding up my wallet and when I come home I can just easily pull them out and do what I need to do with them. It has this nice gold uh, keychain. If you have one of those like remote starts or that's not what I mean, the start that you just push the button, um, it's nice to kind of put that on there. It does also have this removable little um, hand chain. So that's nice because it fits around your wrist and then you can hold this. It's great for going out or going to the movies when you don't want to carry your purse so you can kind of do whatever you want with it. So this is the inside. It has two snaps right there and it's like a trifold wallet. So up here it has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven credit card slots. I do carry a lot of cards. I wish it had a couple more slots. I understand why it doesn't. Um, but it's not quite enough for me. I had to take some cards out. It has a little pocket here that has the little finish on here, which is the signature Henry Bendel, like white or cream with chocolate stripes. This is like clearly plastic, so that does feel a little bit cheap to me. Right here, it has a phone pocket and a little lipstick slot. It says Henry Bendel, New York. It's embossed in gold. So it does have a nice little snap closure to pull your, put your phone and keep it secure. This is my phone. I have the iPhone 7. I had an OtterBox case on it and it didn't fit in there with the OtterBox case, but it does fit with my case and my little pop socket. But I do have to put it in like this. I can't put it in with the pop socket facing out because it won't stay closed for whatever reason. And then there's a lipstick in here. It's actually not a lipstick. This is the um, Fresh Sugar Tinted Lip Treatment. I kind of use this more as like a lip gloss, so it fits nicely right in there. On this portion, it has four credit card slots. That's kind of where I put the cards that I use a little bit more. And then it has a little pocket right in there behind the credit card slots, but before the zippered pouch. It has a nice zippered pouch. This is where I keep my, my cash and some coin in there. And then it has a nice little pocket back here for more cards. I have been using this for a little bit over a week. It is still very, very stiff. It does not feel like this is something that will loosen up, but that's okay. Overall, I would say it just feels cheap to me. It does kind of feel like it's not something that's gonna last me a long time. Um, which is a little bit disappointing and I think that that's why at $100 I feel okay with the purchase at $198 I might not feel so okay. Now I did look on the website just before I started filming this video and they do have quite a few colors that are on sale. Some of them are like $138 I think. Um, 
so you can get them cheaper. There are other ones that are more expensive. I saw one that was like $220, I think, maybe $212. I don't think it's worth that. Maybe it's a different leather, leather, but maybe not. So I do love Henry Bendel. I have the Henry Bendel Jet Setter backpack, which I filmed a video on, which you guys seem to love. I'll go ahead and link that video down below. I do not feel like this wallet is on par with the quality or the feel of that bag by any means, which was a little disappointing. However, for what it is, I have looked everywhere for a wallet that I can kind of have everything in and just be able to pull it out of my purse and take it with me, um, whether it be I'm like running to the store or running an errand or sometimes doing like a little activity with my son and I don't need my whole purse and I can just easily take this. It's definitely good for that. So those are my thoughts on the Henry Bendel Uptown Out and About Wallet Organizer. If you own this wallet in any color, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. I would love to hear what you think about the feel of it, the leather, and if you've had it for a while, if it has stood up. I just feel like the sides are like gonna come apart, but Maybe not, maybe it won't. Tell me what you think. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.